When you drag a video file into DaVinci Resolve that's using the DJI Mic safety track, by default you're going to get a stereo audio channel. You can see this by the 2.0 here. That means we've got a left and a right audio track. If you want to see the actual audio in this clip, right click and check display individual audio channels. Now we can see the left and the right. You can see the left channel is louder, that's the regular volume, and the right channel here is the safety track at the lower volume level. So if you just want to use whatever's on the left track, you can right click the audio channel here, and then come down to change track type two and choose mono. And now if we open up the mixer, play this back. Might be recording a film or a commercial in a location that you can't. You can see down here, we just had a single mono channel. So what do you do if you actually want to use the safety track on the right channel and not the main audio on the left channel? If you don't already have loads of clips in the timeline, come up to all of the clips where you want to use the safety channel, right click, come down to clip attributes, and then come over to the audio tab. At the minute, this is telling us that this clip has stereo audio and we're outputting the channel one in the video file to the left track and channel two in the video file to the right track. What you can do is come up to this drop down and instead of stereo, choose mono. You can now choose whether to use the audio in the left or the right of the video file. Embedded channel one will give you the left side. So in our example, that's the regular volume and channel two will give you the safety track. Let's change this to channel two and click okay. Now this won't actually change any clips you've already got in the timeline here. If I play this back, check out the audio level here. Channel in a location that you can't really control or maybe you're so we're getting about between negative 15 and negative 10 there. But if I drag this clip in a second time and play this back. In a film or a commercial in a location that you can't really control. Notice now we're getting the lower volume somewhere around the negative 20. If you've already got clips on the timeline, you can right click on the clip, choose clip attributes, and then follow the same approach. Change to mono, choose the track you want and click OK. Now both of these tracks can't really control, or maybe you're setting. We'll play back. Really control, or maybe you're from the safety track audio on the right side of the stereo signal. So what you do if you've got loads and loads of clips on the timeline but you forgot to set the safety track at the source clip level and perhaps they're all using stereo. I'll just remove these and reset this back to stereo. Drag that back in and display the individual audio channels. Rather than changing every single clip in the timeline, you can instead come to the Fairlight tab. What you can do is come over to this little plus button next to Effects and click that, and then come down to Tools and choose Stereo Fixer. This will add the Stereo Fixer effect. Now what you can do is either click this button to get only the left side of the audio playing on both sides of the output, or this button to get only the right hand side of the original audio playing on both sides. Let's see this in action in a location that you can't really control or maybe you're setting up a YouTube filming space in a bedroom in a house you're gonna usually come up you can hear now we can either choose the main track or the safety track if you want to actually work with it as a pure mono track come up to the Fairlight menu choose bus format click add bus make sure this is mono and if you want to give it a name click OK and just drag this across to make some space, we'll turn off the meters, come down to bus outputs and remove it by clicking the cross. And instead, click the plus next to bus sends and choose DJI mic bus that we just created. Click this middle button here to open up the settings and double click on this slider here to set it to zero. And now if we play this back, notice we don't get any sound. That's because we have to add a bus output to our DJI mic bus. Click the plus here and choose bus one to add the audio to the main output. Now if we play this back, look down here. Or maybe you're setting up a YouTube filming space in a bedroom in a... Now we've got a genuine mono track that we can work with.